welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. I'm Fidel Brett, and in this channel, we just talk about business or career, starting a business, scaling a business, or starting a career, or changing a career. Today, we just wanted to talk about career and business. Now the question is, some people sort of get confused asking what is a job, what is a career and well business, we know business is business, being an entrepreneur is business but there's a slight difference between a job, a career and being a business person or being an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone being, an entrepreneur is someone who is <laughs> innovative who thinks outside the box, who creates products that are either groundbreaking or are out of this world. So some people sort of tend to confuse what is what. Business is providing a service, providing a product for people which could be either groundbreaking or normal day to day and has been business is sort of tried and tested and um, you just want to go into it and test the market or you've got a special skill set that you want to carry on and instead of just providing it to just one area or one niche of people or one set of clientele you're opening it up to a wider range of individuals or a wider range of people so that is business where you've got so a business could start from a career so let's say you um, have a skill set where you did an apprenticeship in carpentry or woodwork and you've been doing that for five six seven years in that seven years you have built um, a massive skill because you've been doing it on a continuous basis and you have produced so much in that seven years you have been doing that carpentry kind of work you've either worked in building sites or you've created um, some either flat packs or some furniture that or even just created little ornaments that have been sold but in seven years you have learned a lot in seven years you've perfected your skill in seven years you have built yourself to either the next level of where that carpentry can um, skills you've acquired can take you to so you can now decide okay I have this massive skill and I keep creating these little ornaments that have been fetching me a bit of money why don't I start a business in carpentry or start a business that has I'm creating little things that deals with woodwork so you're creating it and then selling it but because a business is a bit different creating something before where you were sort of doing it for someone else and that person was selling it on now you now doing it as a business is slightly different because now it's all going to be on you you have to decide how much you are going to charge for each of the items you're going to um, make so you create let's let's just say you start off with ornaments or you can probably even do like pens you can do like um stationery you can do all kinds of stuff or you can probably even do like a a board or you can even make a dining table and decide to sell to one of them retail people you can decide to do whatever the heck you want to do because that is your passion and what you're creating is unique and that uniqueness is you so how do you make money at the back of it that's where the business sort of comes in but you now have to decide okay I'm starting this business it's going to involve marketing it's going to involve sales it's going to involve involve networking it's going to involve advertising it's going to, it's going to involve quite a lot of stuff where business is concerned so it's not the same as just having a skill and having a career where you're working for someone else and building that skill set to where you need to be so 
you can either carry on in a career and keep building yourself working for someone else or you can take that skills that you've learned and then go solo and start your own business because you've learned a lot and you feel you can now start making your own money and charging your own pricing on what you're creating then you now make a product which is unique to you unique to your brand and unique to your entity because that is you if anyone sees what you have created they are to automatically know oh it's from this brand it's from this person because what they do stands out what they do is out of this world so people so already know who you are and that and that is quite good because you've been sort of putting yourself out there and you've been selling so you can sort of start a business at the back of that because you've already put yourself out there and people have uh, embraced your product people are interested in seeing what it is you are going to create or what it is that you're going to offer the world so they are happy and willing and ready to buy and if let's say as i said you're a carpenter you can ship your products all over the world you don't have to be tied down to just one area because it's all in you your uniqueness you can just create a site put all the stuff that you've created in the past picture wise so that people can see what you've done in the past and what you are likely to do in the future and that's how you start your business and that is business sort of explained. Now for a career. A career is a long-term professional journey based on passions, based on goals, based on ambition. A career can last your entire life. So let's say you've always wanted to be, um, from a child, you say, oh, I want to be a lawyer or I want to be an accountant or I want to be a singer and you love singing so from your childhood you've been singing or as i said you want to be a lawyer so what do you need to do to start off that career so with lawyers yeah you have to go to school and you have to get a degree in law then you now decide what kind of law do you want to practice what kind of law do you want to be known for do you want to be a or do you want to be b you sort of just decide what your what your professional aspiration is going to be um, focused towards then you start building yourself you start building your mindset you start building your knowledge you start reading you start growing you sort of start retaining everything you're learning along the years then you could start off as, um, as um, a junior um, I don't know what they call it in the law section I should have done my research not in but whatever they call it in the law um, industry you start off as let's say you start off as a newbie and you sort of build your skill set um, in that company so you can be in that company and keep building yourself building your knowledge taking any professional exams you need to take take any courses you need to take so that you can keep rising up the ladder because your goal as a lawyer is you probably want to be the top paying um, lawyer in your state or you want to be able to look at um, billing um, six figures seven figures on um, a quarterly basis or um, a, a half <laughs> in once a year or twice a year or you sort of bill in large numbers to clients because you are so so good in what you're doing so as a career it's a professional growth it's a personal aspiration it's a special it's a it's a personal step that you decide that oh i'm i'm good at this i like what i'm doing even if i'm sleeping and wake up i can tell the next person what it is to be a lawyer in this field because you know that sector in and out so as a career you have built yourself to that level and you've built your knowledge and anyone can come to you and say oh you are so good can you 
can I pay you? It was just you working for someone else as a consultant. So she paid as a consultancy because you were so good in this field and I will need a bit of advice from you because you have done the homework, you've done you've done the graft, you've gotten yourself to where you want to be because you have invested in yourself, you've invested in your knowledge, you've invested in your professional growth to get to where you are. So that's what career is all about, a long-term professional development to develop yourself to a certain stage that yes, you can either carry on where you are or you can retire if you sort of get to the top of your game. So it all starts from making a decision that I want to create a career from what I'm doing because I want to get to the top of my ladder in this field I'm currently working in. With a job, it's slightly different. With a job, you just go in to sort of get get paid and put food on the table. But a job, you can either change that job into another job, into another job. But with career, you're changing a job to another similar job within that same field. So all you're doing is changing organizations or changing companies, but you still have that same job but still within that same field. And all you're doing is building yourself and building that field of knowledge that you have and adapting more within that field and keep constantly improving your knowledge base and your professional skill set so that you are literally at the top of your game. Based on this, one of the things that I'm sort of looking to do in probably the coming months is having um, some guests on my channel talking more about career and business growth on how to either start um, in certain careers and build yourself up the ladder of the chain of whatever organization you are. So give you a sort of like ideas of, let's say you want to become um, an electrician, uh, so to be fair, I have no idea how to be an electrician or how to even start it. So I can just get to views from people who are electricians who have been doing it for years to tell you how they started it and um, how they've gotten to where they are now. So if you're thinking of being either an electrician, a lawyer, an accountant, a doctor, or even being um, a ballet dancer, or even being a, a zoologist, how do you start so that it sort of gives people um, a right stare in the right direction. So that's something that I'm looking to do in the coming months, as well as business as well. How people have started their businesses and how people have scaled their businesses. So I'll keep giving you guys tips and tricks of the trade and helping you sort of make the right decision and steer you in the right path. So. If that will be of interest to you, please comment down below and uh, let us know what areas that you would like to either have discussions on, either career or business, and then I can go out and look for people in that industry to come and give you a talk on what it all entails and what it's all about. And um, yeah, we can keep talking and sharing. So if you've liked this video, please like, subscribe and turn up your notification and we'll see you in next week's video bye